Signal coupling deals with the way the waveforms AC and DC components are shown on the oscilloscope's display. Normally, DC coupling is used, but there are some waveform types where AC coupling can be beneficial. Let's take a look at one here. The coupling setting is found in the individual channel menus and shown at the bottom of the screen for each channel at all times. In this mode, the scope displays both the DC and AC values of the signal together. This is ideal for correct voltage measurements of your signal. But when the signals of interest are far from ground, it can be time consuming to locate them on the scope. The engineer would have to set both the channel reference values and the trigger level to locate the offset signal. Furthermore, all scopes have some limit to how much offset they can provide. To make this easier, we can use AC coupling. AC coupling blocks the DC components of the signal, so the average of the waveform appears at ground. This makes triggering and aligning the signal much easier. Furthermore, the engineer can now zoom in further using the vertical scale to get the best view for analyzing the signal. Keep in mind that measurements like Vmax, Vmin, and average are no longer valid. While DC coupling is the standard method, AC coupling is a useful tool for in-depth analysis and debugging of some signals, especially ones that are not close to ground.